thankful, so happy, just wandering my local Target and came across the N1 Starfighter from Mandalorian. Still haven't seen the A-Wing. Um, the at, -AT was was pretty easy to get as well, but I decided to wait on that one just because it's so large uh, as far as finding space for it. But in the meantime, just had to pick this up because I'm really um, excited about this kind of bespoke fighter coming back from the uh, nostalgia from Clone Wars. Although uh, I did watch Clone Wars and you know I thought it was good, it was decent. Um, nothing really stood out to me so much from that series, and you know, not really a fan of Anakin. You know, I guess the series was better just for you know, kind of like Obi Wan. And anyways, I'm not gonna get into it. I had cool moments. I wish Grievous was more uh, powerful, um, but I did like especially uh, the uh, the micro series was amazing, the 2D animated version. Um, but anyways, this comes from Naboo. That's why it's like the N1 Starfighter from, uh, I guess, uh, what's her name? Padme, Princess Amidala's planet. And uh, I like how they kind of retroed it into the Mandalorian and, you know, gave him again a bespoke fighter. You know, if you guys saw the series, when he's talking to the engineer, she says, you know, this is like this old space junk, whatever. Or he's like saying, this is old space junk. And she obviously soups it up and modifies it and proves him otherwise. So there we go. And uh, this is worth keeping because on the back it comes this little card here. That shows like a simple schematic and uh, just a, a few features, nothing much. You just put in Mando in there, AKA uh, Din Djarin, and then they have a Grogu in the back right there, really cool. And then it just has two landing gear stuff. So I already cut it and sliced it. So let's take it out of the package. Oh, actually, this part didn't slice. That's fine, okay. Cool. Kind of have to like push the plastic out of the way and it'll pop out without hopefully get, uh, getting damaged. Okay, so all it asks you to do is to insert the tail. Um, you can't really do it wrong because as you can see, there's a specific triangular shape. And then this just also has that triangle shape. Uh, so you just, you know, put it in like this. Yeah, again, see that has that triangular shape towards the top. And I guess once you snap it in, though, that's it, right? Yeah, I guess you're supposed to be able to take it out. But there it is. Yeah, it looks clean. It has some nice weathering on it for sure. Um, I mean, not weathering, but like weathered details here. I can see on mine there's a little bit of paint kind of splashed up there, but overall looks clean and finished well. Um, the the weathering I was referring to was this yellow paint here. Some of it is kind of etched over there, the little stripes, because, you know, I believe these used to be like yellow or used to be painted certain colors. Uh, and there's a little Grogu in there. So hard to see him, but still worth it. Great detail to add on to it. And yeah, this is going to go perfect with my Razor Crest. And the Mandalorian, I'm sure, is pretty much the same. Uh, he actually looks like he also has the uh, the jetpack as well, so that's good. Let's pop him out. Come on, Dinjarin. Sheesh. Got it. Okay. So now... Cool. So same old Din Djarin has a little cloak over on his side. That looks good. I'm sure you can pop this off. Or can you not? Maybe it's a different, or not really a different mold, but maybe it's just one where they, oh no, you can still pop the, uh, the entire cape assembly off. I see. Which, does he have to do that to put him in? I don't know, let's find out. So these are the retro style figures with like the, um, just the legs kind of rotate and the arms. I'm gonna try to put him in there. Just cause I wanna keep everything together and it works. He is in there folks. Uh oh, won't close all the way though. So that's kind of unfortunate because if you can't put him in all the way, unless, let me just push him in a little bit more. Actually, no, you know why you can't? Because I'm, I bet you I'm bending the cape. Yeah, see, because the cape, 
it's kind of flat on them. So like, it's kind of unfortunate where it's like a piece you're gonna, you know, have to put somewhere else. But once that's out, then yeah, he obviously sits in there. He slumps all the way down. Cool. And then there's a landing gear that side, one here. And again, unfortunate, you know, it's, it's not terrible, but you can see three uh, screws there. And then they have two on each of these like thrusters. But other than that, still looks awesome. And uh, really happy to have it, yeah. Man, such a clean Starfighter. Uh, definitely still in line with the Star Wars like style. Uh, hopefully as the series, you know, continues to go, right? They don't, you know, veer things too far away from the style. I fear, I fear that um, they kind of have done so with uh, the droids. Like, you know, I think uh, like BB-8 and stuff like that. But anyways, um, there you guys go. Let me know in the com comments what you think. Uh, again, I'm just admiring the details here. Again, it's, it's, you know, up to the standards that Micro Galaxy Squadron usually does. You can see all like these like circuit trees in there really nice you know and of course we see this thing looking more kind of metallic in the uh show obviously they cgi it but it's nice to have something that looks still more mechanical and um you know used i guess you could say well worn we weathered and like real so there you go yeah super shiny all right awesome guys right. so again i'm happy with the uh, series so i definitely want to see them keep going in the same direction and just having Really cool adventures with uh, Din Djarin and Grogu until maybe, you know, he obviously grows up one day and becomes a uh, powerful Jedi himself. All right, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Don't forget to keep your face safe, pray, spread that love, be positive, be thankful, and come back at you. Peace.